What's up, dudes? Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Duty's Daggers. Uh, welcome in. Welcome on in. Uh, we have an unboxing today that I'm stoked, super, super stoked on. Today was quite a day, a very long day, um, but it got better when I was driving home and I got the notification that this had arrived. Really freaking stoked. This is uh, a knife from a new maker I've never experienced before. It's a knife I've been trying to get for like a year or so. Um, they're hard to get. I somehow just got lucky on this one. Um, so let's get into it. If you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel already, please do it. Um, it's a good channel. I promise you'll like it. Um, and my Instagram is duties underscore daggers. So follow me over there. All right. Let's freaking do it. My address is on the other side, so I'm gonna do this off camera really quick, make that cut. All right, there we go. Get the packing slip out. Okay. Look at that, dude. Hang on, I gotta let Floki out. God. Do you see that? Do you freaking see that, dude? Baby, TRM, Three Rivers Manufacturing, made in the mother freaking USA, baby. Oh, so awesome. What else we got in here? Oh, it's a little puppy. Huh. Email Hillary picture of any TRM product you'd purchased. Huh, I wonder uh, I wonder if this is like their mascot or something. Anyways, um, anything else? That's it, okay. So TRM, a um, American made knife company, um, designed in the US, made in the US. They make everything in house in their factory, in their shops, um, which is really, really cool man uh it feels great to have um another usa made knife in the collection um and not just designed in the u.s and made overseas actually designed in the u.s made in the u.s everything i believe even their hardware is made in the u.s so this is sweet um so this is kind of the same packaging as you get in the um 80 20.5s the titanium versions kind of like a plasticky sort of sliding case I think is there a trick I push push the corners maybe come on I want my knife please uh, come on oh twist okay you twist it okay here we go all right so the TRM shadow is very hard to get um, I was at the right place at the right time. I've tried many times to get this knife. I've gotten there as the drops were happening and just been a little too late. Um, I got the notification on the uh, the Reddit uh, Blades in Stock uh, subreddit. Went right there and just immediately bought it. I didn't even think about it. I know that I knew that I wanted wanted it, and um, I'm really really happy I got one. They were gone in literal minutes. Maybe seconds. All right, here it is. <laughs> oh, I'm so stoked. All right, here we go. Extremely sharp handle with care. Okay. Oh, here she is. Look at this. Oh, I'm already seeing so many things I love. Okay, let's take this in. This is a G10 handle here with um, some milling lines in it for a little bit of grip, a little bit of uh, you know traction also for looks. Look at this pivot, dude. Oh, that is beautiful. That is amazing. Is that titanium? No, stainless. Clip, titanium. Hardware is titanium as well, I think. Look at this thing. All right. 
clip, deep gray clip, inset, flat headed to screws. Looks like it's going to work really well. Um, it's a crossbar lock, which they call the river lock. Thumb stud only. Let's flick it. <laughs> oh, baby. This is, this is like one of my most, uh, what, what am I trying to say? This design is, is like one of the most my kind of knives I've ever seen. You know, like everything about this is what I like in a knife. Literally everything. Very comfortable choke up spot. Roomy. Oh, that's so comfortable. Super thin blade stock. Uh, TRM is known for having thin blade stock. Very slicey blades. It's going to get in a feel for it here. Give me a sec. Feels like it might need to break in a little bit. Yeah. All right, yeah, it's getting better already. Um, all right, let's look at this thing. Um, I think some people would probably call this a reverse Tonto uh, blade. To me, this is a sheep's foot though. Um, man, I love how they, um, they etch in their logo. It's not just lasered on, it's actually etched in there with like some kind of laser or not, not laser, um, electro etching probably is what they do. Oh, it's so nice, dude. It's just, it screams quality, you know? I mean, lasering is fine, but this just tells me that they, they took the time. They took time to do that. It looks amazing. And then on the other side, we, it says, uh, let's see, TRM USA 20 CV. All right, we got a stonewashed uh, blade. God, this is comfortable. Isn't this just a wicked ass design? I mean, look at this. This is such a wicked design. I love that I can choke up really close to the blade and have a nice low tip utility cutting. This one's actually got a little bit of belly, um, but still nice low tip. Oh man, that's getting smooth. <laughs> oh man, look at these thumb studs. I've never seen thumb studs, thumb studs like this. I've seen some people put O-rings around these. Um, for some reason, TRM knives, um, have these kind of style thumb studs where you can put O-rings around them in different colors. Um, they actually sell little O-rings that fit on here on their website, which, um, I don't know, I'll probably try. It's only like a couple bucks. I mean, it's not uncomfortable though. The thumb stud is not uncomfortable at all. I'm wondering maybe if it gives you a little bit of a better grip, like that you won't slip off of them, I don't know. But it is kind of cool also to give it a pop of color. The thumb studs are, are really nicely milled and machined. I really like these. There's a lot of, of really kind of uh, attention to detail elements um, on this knife that I'm seeing. Number one, this really, really fantastically beautifully milled pivot. Um, the electro etched logo the um, machined um, thumb studs. And this area back in here, wow, look at that. Look how they do that. That liner is chamfered on the inside edges and then they break where the stop pin is. See how the chamfers stop um, and then resume back up here? That is really nice. Everything is just fit really nice and tightly in the G10. 
no spaces whatsoever anywhere. Interesting how they did this too. There's no backspacer. It looks like, yeah, it looks like this, this uh, show side scale actually, this backspacer is a part of that. Yeah. And look how the texture kind of wraps around the corner. See that? Oh, that's nice. The tabs here stick out a little farther than um, like a Benchmade, for example. They're really easy and comfortable to grab. Super comfortable. Slight bit of lock stick. That should go away. The detent uh, feel isn't super snappy, but definitely snappy enough to where it wouldn't bother me. You know, uh, crossbar locks are never really going to have super snappy detents. That's just that's just how they are. You know, um, because there's no detent. Really, what's providing the resistance is just like a little uh, angled part on the tang where this is uh, this bar is rubbing on, right? And then it gets past that point and it gets to the rounded part of the tang that, that it slides upon. And then it gets to the other little flat spot where it um, clicks up into the locked position. Um, but as far as crossbar locked uh, knives go, this is has a pretty good feeling detent. Reverse flick. Oh, there we go. I just had to get it right. It's more of your fingernail, not with the meat of your finger. So yeah, I can do that. Oh man, I really like this. I really like this. I cannot wait to do a cut test. I think this is going to be an, a, a mega slicer. It doesn't feel overly thin behind the edge, actually. In fact, it almost feels a little on the thick side, um, but with the blade stock being this thin, there's no way it's not gonna slice good. There's absolutely no possible way. But let's measure it. Let's measure, uh, let's get the calipers out. Let's, I wanna see the blade stock thickness. What do we got here? 0 0.08. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh man. For comparison, let's check out the Shaman. 0.14. Check out the uh, Native 5 here. 0.12. Um, let's see, what else? The, uh, the Warncliffe Pyrite, another thin, uh, very, very slicey blade. I think it's still going to be thicker than the TRM, though. Uh, let's see. Just swedge right there. Uh, 0.1. So, yeah, this is thinner than the pyrite. It's 0.08. Damn! And then behind the edge, what do we got? Yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's not super thin. 22 thousandths. 22. 24. Um, so, I mean, that's not like insanely thick, but it is definitely on the thick side. Um, I bet, well, I don't know. I wonder if they did that because it's such thin blade stock, just to kind of give it a little bit more um, robustness. I wonder if they had to, to do that. Give it just a little bit thicker measurement behind the edge. But, I mean... Without a shadow of a doubt, this is going to be a slicer. Believe you me. And also, believe you me that we will be doing a cut test with this, the baby. Uh, this is a knife. You know, I wanted to mention something. And this is a good opportunity, too. Some knives um, that I buy, I don't use right away. Um, and by use, I mean, like, actually carry it to work and, you know, use-use. 
I carry almost uh, I carry almost all of my knives. Um, there's only like two that I just don't carry. Period. I carry all my knives, but a lot of them I just light use them. Right? Tape, paper, very light 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 duty stuff. Um, and that is because when I'm getting a lot of sometimes when I get I get a new knife, I'm not quite totally sure that I love it yet. Um, and so I don't want to put a scratch on the blade and damage um, my damage the resale value. Really is the thing. Um, you know, I sometimes I'm just not totally sold on a knife, you know, and I want to keep it keep it uh, looking good in case I decide to sell it. Right. Um, some knives I already know that I'm gonna love, and so I I just I go right to to regular using it. Um, this is a knife that I will never be selling. Um, I, it's, you know, for a couple reasons, very hard to get. So it's rare. There are not that many uh, TRM shadows in the world. Way, way, way less than uh, a lot of my other knives. So that's one reason. Another reason is I really, really love this knife already. I love the design. I, I love, I've loved this design ever since I first saw it. Pictures of it, you know? Um, like I said, it has almost everything that I love in a knife. A amazing choke-up spot, sheep's foot blade, um, easy one-handed use, you know, great thumb stud action, really good clip, great ergonomics, you know, thin slicey blade. Um, it's just the design just really speaks to me. So I, I already know I'm not selling this. So we're going to go ahead and cut test with it. I'm going to carry and use it. You know, game on. An example of something I'm still not completely sold on, to be honest with you, is this knife. The uh, Axial Shift. Um, I don't know. There's something about it. I'm just not quite just totally sold on it. Um, I did a cut test with it. Um, it cut well. I put a nice edge on it. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a great OTF. I'm just, I'm not sure if I'm an OTF guy, I think is what it comes down to. This is a fantastic o OTF. Just don't know if I'm an OTF guy, you know? Um, I just don't really reach for this uh, over some other knives I've gotten recently. Um, like I've been reaching for my Shaman way, way more than the Shift here. Been reaching for the 8015 way more than the Shift. I've even reached for the pyrite here more than the shift so that kind of just tells you something right um it tells you that eh, maybe i'm just it's just not really my thing possibly so i'm not uh hard using this knife um i don't carry it to work because there's still a chance i might sell this i don't know yet i'm not decided i really absolutely love the color i, I love the knife i just i don't carry it as much as i thought i would um so all that to say this is something I'm immediately in love with and um, we'll never get rid of ever. So cut test coming on this guy. Um, can't wait to see how it does. Um, man, look at that blade stock. I mean, look at it compared to the pyrite, which is already thin. But look at, look at it uh, next to the shaman. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, the shaman is like two of these blades put together that's that's ridiculous <laughs> gosh yeah this is gonna be really sweet this is this is just as can't talk this is awesome uh the only more badass uh trm i've seen is the full titanium uh shadow that knife is unbelievably sexy um metal complex has one <clears throat> and uh, it's not like you can just buy titanium scales for this knife. Um, I believe they only sell it just, you know, you get you buy the knife with the titanium scales. It's very hard to get, very, very rare, and that's how you get the titanium scale. You can't just buy them. You can't just buy the scales. Um, so that's fine, but, um, you know, I, I know that I have no chance of getting that one, 
Even if I could, I probably couldn't afford it right now anyways. So I am very happy to have this G10 one. This G10 feels really good, by the way. Um, it doesn't feel, you know, you get some, some G10 sometimes it almost feels a little too plasticky. Um, this feels really good. Um, I, I've noticed when you can see like a lot of the texture in the G10, it's kind of a, a, a sign of it being really good quality G10. You know, when you can see those textures. Same with the, the Shaman. You can just see some texture in there. This is good G10. I like this G10. Um, what's an example of some bad G10? Let me see. Um, well, like the inlays here, right? It's just, it, it looks like plastic. You don't see any texture to it at all. The texture on it is, is you know, it's the peel ply texture. It's not the actual texture of, you know, the uh, the, the strands of material in there. So anyways, I keep going on. This is awesome. I'm really, really happy to finally have a TRM and the best TRM, in my opinion. Um, this is amazing. This is really, really sweet. So um, a few of you guys know I was saving up my money for a big purchase. Um, this is the big purchase. Um, now I'm going to be starting over and saving up for a big purchase again. Um, Originally, my sights had been set on possibly an Arius, um, something of that caliber, maybe a Rosie, um, which I had been saving up for. Um, but I saw this, and I, I this is something that I just had to get. You know, um, they're just so hard to get, man. And I finally, uh, I finally got one. I had to take the opportunity. So, uh, Arius fund starting over. I'm stoked. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like the video before you head out. I'd appreciate it, and uh, I love you. I'll see you soon.